How's it going, Strummers? Uh, that rhythm there was from Amarillo by Morning, a old George Strait song. It's a song that uh, one of my students recently brought in. And as you can see, the rhythm there is uh, a bunch of down strokes and then up strokes. It's that, that alternation, you know. But uh, taking up a notch, another level with the use of accents. And that's what those uh, greater than signs are. There is an accent on what we call uh, beat two, on the and of two, and on the and of three, and beat four. So that sounds like um, this. It's a bunch of kind of medium strums. And some of them pop out like this. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and and four, one and two and and four. All right. Now the student that brought that in, she's kind of like a an advancing beginner she knows uh quite a few chords and uh she can do some kind of easy strum rhythms but when we get into uh being really specific with what downs and up should be accented that rhythm um in particular that definitely gives her problems and so um that'll bring us to the best way to get started um, with getting control over really uh, every single eighth note or strum in a measure. Um, the accent exercise. There are, um, you can see, eight exercises or eight total measures to this exercise. But what we're going to do first is just take them one by one and repeat each one. Um, the most important one of them is the second one. If you can get that second one, you can get the rest of them and you can start to kind of advance in the course. Um, to me, it makes sense to try rhythms with only one accent every measure and just uh, kind of get a fix on that. Um, and then you can start to add in more accents. The George Strait song, Amarillo by Morning, that has... Uh, four, four of the eighth notes accented. So that's a lot to kind of just do. So even uh, really slowly, it's hard. So um, let's just jump into this exercise then. So um, what we did in the last lecture was we found like a technique um, for having accented hits, which was to press in more or, or dig in to the strings to get louder and louder and to get softer or kind of medium. It's to uh, really find that perfect spot where uh, your, your pick is barely touching the strings to get kind of a softer cutting sound. Okay, um, and then our accent would be something like that. So, the first measure of the exercise shows an accent mark over beat one, and um, I'll go ahead and just play that. Sometimes, uh, just by listening to it, you can get it. So... something like that. Um, what really helps is um, trying it, you know, by ear, getting a feel for it, but then uh, getting back to counting it out. Actually say the count out loud, maybe before you even strum. Say it just like this. Uh, 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and kind of so on and then uh continue to say it and strum it one and two and three and four and 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 okay so that one isn't that hard to do um, but then we get to the second measure of the accent exercise, which has um, an accent on an upbeat, the and of one, or an upstroke. So um, this is really challenging for my students, um, but you can see how if you can get this, you can get the more complex um, accent patterns that are going on uh, in the rest of the course so here's what it would sound like something like that and I'm, uh, I'm strumming a D chord because that's the first chord of Amarillo by morning um, so the same thing, you're going to want to uh, count it out by uh, like reading it first uh, without playing. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and try to put emphasis on the and of one. This doing that is harder, uh, harder than you would think it would be uh, for some of my students. So just uh, getting control over that and getting used to that saying and really loud at the right time and then try uh playing it again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and playing while counting out loud that's what's important is uh being a aware of every single eighth note the name of it and being able to put emphasis on particular ones and not on others control over your dynamics um so um, another way that you can get into this is just uh, turning the guitar, oops, turning the guitar over like this and um, kind of just tapping the rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and slow down maybe uh one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so uh, you may need to go really slow to uh really get that you can also mute your strings and try it Um, muting your strings kind of cleans it all up. Um, you can't sort of hide behind like the beauty of the chord, you know. Uh, what your exact uh, touch is just it just becomes really clear when you mute your strings. So uh, let's move on in the exercise. Um, let's accent now only beat two, so that downstroke on beat two. Count it out loud. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's move on to the and of two, which um, now that you kind of like got your brain to figure out how to strum on or an accent on the and of one, um, it it'll be a, a little bit of an adjustment to strum just the and of two but it won't be as hard as uh getting the and of one so here is that uh the and of two one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that one sounds really cool so then uh accenting just beat three one and two and three and four and Uh, 
All right. Not too bad. Whenever they're on downs, it just isn't. For some reason, it's not that crazy, I feel like. So uh, the and of three, this one might be a little tricky. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if it's hard for you, uh, slow it down. Like, uh, even if you have to just, like, read it. Maybe you don't even feel it. Uh, just read every single hit. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Oh, yeah, that's something that uh, my students do is, like, instead of keeping that rhythm, whenever they, when they're reading it like that, playing it like that, where they don't really feel it, they're just reading it. That's a way into this, though. And they'll, almost all of them will uh, pause after the accented one and then get back to reading. So it's, um, try to just be aware that you're doing that, but just know it is okay um, for a little while. You'll get used to it, and uh, it's just right after the accent, try to, to keep on a rhythm. So that would be, uh, if you're just reading it slow to get into it, one and two and three and four and like that don't wait too long after the accent to get back to four all right uh let's do beat four uh so the next measure of the exercise is an accent on beat four so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two Not too hard, and then the and of four, so another and, which might be a challenge, so one and two and three and four, and, four. and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and, and then uh, with the muted strings, and two and three and four, and one, two and three and four, and one and two and three, two and three and four, and. So you have a few different techniques to just kind of help you get into that uh, strumming on the muted strings, uh, strumming with a chord, actually saying the rhythm, the count, without um, strumming. So like you could do one and two and three and four and one and two. And, or you could do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, whatever helps. And then uh, turning the guitar over and just drumming the rhythm helps. Um, what else? Slowing, slowing way down helps. And uh, just nothing helps like not giving up uh, and just doing it over and over and over until you get it. Um, so uh, before we end this lecture... The, uh, try to play through the entire exercise without any repeats on the measures. Um, so that would mean one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. So try to play through actually like the whole measure. I mean the whole exercise. So I'll do that uh, with the muted string so you can really hear it. So... Oh, sorry. So one and two and three and four and 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 one and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and four and and it's also really fun uh, to try and increase the tempo. Um, One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Um, so that is it. That's the accent exercise. If at any time something is like a strum pattern later 
uh, in the course gets to be too difficult, especially because of all the accents that you have to be aware of, um, come back to this video and kind of like rebuild with the most simple as possible um, accent exercise where the measure only has one you have to worry about. So thank you for uh, working hard on this one. I'll end it there and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you all. How's it going, y'all? Thank you for clicking on this video about strumming. I hope that it was helpful. Um, just wanted to let you know that I do have um, a new online course on this topic called Strumming is Drumming. Learn 51 Easy Guitar Strum Patterns. It's it's a technique course. It's got a, a lot about strumming technique, like getting a really relaxed form and uh, kind of building speed and stuff like that. Um, Oh, and also building, uh, not just that, but like, uh, the finesse section gets you kind of more musical, like adding a kind of color to your strumming, like, like, uh, some strums louder and softer than others or with, uh, d different tones, like when you strum on lower strings or high strings. It's a technique course, but it's also, um, just a strum pattern encyclopedia course. Basically, I listen to 500 songs and put them into rhythm categories. So if online courses is your thing, uh, here's a good one on strumming. You'll learn more than you ever thought you could, probably.